Variables are just letters that represent numbers, so they can be treated just like numbers when adding and subtracting radicals. You can use the same series of steps that you do for radicals with just numbers. Just read over these quickly. We'll show you these steps where applicable in our examples. We're asked to simplify this expression, which involves adding and subtracting radicals with numbers and variables. The expression has brackets with a 4 outside the brackets. So we start by using the distributive property to clear the brackets. We remove the brackets and multiply each term by 4. Next, we factor any radicals that can be factored. 18x to the 4th can be factored to 9 times 2 times x to the 4th, and 50x to the 4th can be factored to 25 times 2 times x to the 4th. We'll break up the square roots into separate square roots like this. The purple arrows show that the square root of each x to the 4th is x squared and the red arrows show that the square root of 9 is 3 and the square root of 25 is 5. Now we're left with this expression. And the next thing we do is simplify it. 4 times 3 is 12 and negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. So our expression now looks like this. We'll rearrange the entries in each term and simplify it a bit. These are all like terms because they all contain x squared root 2. And we can see that these like terms are all written next to each other. This is the same as 4 plus 12 minus 20 in brackets times x squared root 2. 4 plus 12 minus 20 is equal to negative 4. So the final expression in its simplest form is negative 4x squared root 2. And we can summarize by stating that the original expression can be simplified to negative 4x squared root 2. Here's the whole solution to this problem. You can pause the video and review this if you like. Let's go through an example with cube root radicals containing numbers and variables. There is a set of brackets with a 2 on the outside of the brackets, so we can clear the brackets. We remove the brackets and multiply each of the terms that were inside by 2. Now we're left with this expression. Now we'll factor any radicals we can. 500 is 125 times 4, and 108 is 27 times 4, and 32 is 8 times 4. Now we're left with this expression. At this point, we'll split all the cube roots into separate cube roots like this. So we're left with this expression. The purple arrows show that the cube roots of the 3y to the 6th are each y squared. And the red arrows show that the cube root of 125 is 5, the cube root of 27 is 3, and the cube root of 8 is 2. So now we have this expression, which we can now simplify. 2 times 5 equals 10, and negative 2 times 3 equals negative 6. So now we have this. We'll change the order of the things in each term to give us this expression. Notice there are three like terms and they're all next to each other. All of the terms contain y squared times the cube root of 4. This can be written as 10 minus 6 plus 2 in brackets multiplied by y squared times the cube root of 4. 10 minus 6 plus 2 is equal to 6. So 6y squared times the cube root of 4 is the final expression in its simplest form. We can summarize by stating the original expression written in its simplest form is 6y squared times the cube root of 4. Here is the full solution to this problem. Pause the video if you want to review it. Notice all the steps we used to solve it.